Hey, what's up, everyone? I got a lot of tech news for you guys today. Now, first up is Intel's new i7-4770K. It's going to have within 10% better performance than the 3770K, and it's also going to have two other differences, such as one, it's going to have a completely brand new socket, so you are going to have to get a brand new motherboard in order to use this, and two is that it's going to have much better onboard graphics. Now, most people that get the CPU are probably going to be getting a dedicated graphics card anyways, but it will be great just for video playback, but mainly for portable devices. So then that way you'll get great performance and be able to play games or just get great video playback, but the energy efficiency and battery life will be much better overall. Now AMD is going to be releasing a new CPU called the FX9590. Now this CPU is going to be very similar to the 8350, but it's going to be requiring more power, possibly around 220 watts, which is what you see around graphics card actually. And this is going to be one of the first CPUs you're going to be seeing at 5 gigahertz. It comes out of the box at 4.7 gigahertz, but you could turbo clock it to 5 gigahertz and right now people are very happy to see that but their main concern is that they're just hoping to see that you could overclock it even more to 5.3 or possibly anything like 5.6. So a lot of people are very excited about that, but we also don't know how it's going to be cooled down, whether it's going to be water cooling or if it's just going to be water cooled. And if so, then possibly you, if you water cool it, you should be able to overclock it more overall. And people are just really excited, but the main thing you need to keep in mind is that this is going to be very expensive overall because they won't have a very big number of these available, and they're going to very likely might get sold out pretty quickly. And just because of how powerful they are generally, they are going to be more expensive. Now, AMD is going to be releasing another CPU called the A10-6800K, and this is going to be another APU, and this is going to be their way to kind of fight back against Intel's newer CPUs that are going to have better onboard graphics. Now, the 6800K is going to have a much better performance ratio, but right now, the main concern for most people is the temperatures. It's going for around 86 or 90 all the way to around 100 and that is very very hot temperatures that's people's concern but as long as the thing is guaranteed to work or if you have some decent cooling you might need to keep this in mind it, you might have to get an aftermarket cooler in order just to make sure this thing doesn't overheat at all now let's start talking about RAM. Corsair has made a lot of great RAM. They're especially known for their Corsair Vengeance series of RAM, and they're looking to release a new lineup of Corsair Vengeance Pro series of RAM, which is going to be available all the way down from 1600 megahertz all the way up to 2933, which is almost 3 gigahertz, which is just insane. And speaking of RAM, there has been rumors going around for quite a while that DDR4 is coming, and it's kind of more of a fact because you see how fast this RAM is getting all the way from 1333 megahertz and now getting to 2933 megahertz which has just been a huge improvement over just the last year or two now it looks like ddr4 is very likely going to be coming on the new motherboards for intel's new socket for their new cpu so if you're looking to get a new intel cpu and possibly a new motherboard you might want to wait a little bit longer so then you could get a great taste of the ddr4 once it is announced and released now we don't know when it's going to be released or anything like that but very likely very soon because there's a very small number of motherboards available for the new socket on the new motherboard or CPUs from Intel. So it should be very, very soon overall. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you all found this video informative as well as enjoyable. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button so that I'll know. And also keep in mind, guys, that tomorrow I'll be doing a very special video. And make sure you do stay tuned for that. And also, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you are subscribed because I will be doing much more videos in the future. And also, if you have any suggestions or ideas, make sure to post them in the comments below and I'll make sure to read them. So anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. This is Gimma's Reason. I'll see you guys in the next video.